This is Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate, the podcast where we cover home buying, home selling, home improvement tips and ideas, market trends and developments, and investing in real estate. If you own real estate in the Chattanooga, Tennessee area, or want to own real estate here, then you're in the right place. Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate is hosted by Blake Watson, a real estate agent and investor in Tennessee and Georgia. Welcome back to Let's Talk Chattanooga Real Estate, where one of the things we do is break down the latest trends and insights in the housing market so you can make an informed decision if you are a buyer or seller or an investor, whatever it may be. If you own a home, you want to know this information. And I'm your host, Blake Watson, with Epic Realty. And today, we are diving into some fascinating new data from Zillow's Consumer Housing Trends Report for 2024. And if you've been curious about who's buying homes, how they're paying for them, and what's surprising them along the way, well, this episode is for you. So let's get started. And first up, let's talk about who's buying homes these days. The median age of a home buyer is 42, but the average age skews just a little higher, sitting around 44. Now that's a national number. That's a national average. Interestingly, though, we see that about 21% of buyers are in their 20s, while around 20% are in their 60s or older. So there's a pretty wide spread there, and it shows just how diverse the buyer pool actually is. A lot of different age groups are buying houses. Now, what really stands out to me is that millennials, those between 30 and 44 years old, make up the largest chunk of buyers. That's about 34% of buyers in this past year. This isn't a surprise, though, because millennials are in their prime earning phase of life, often moving up to bigger homes or finally making their first purchase. And what does this mean for you, whether you're buying or selling? Well, Pay attention to what millennials look for in a home. Millennials are generally tech savvy and they value energy efficient homes. So marketing a property with smart home features or energy efficient upgrades could be a good move for you if you're selling your property. And for you first time home buyers in your 20s, that's 21% of you are out there making that move. 21% of home buyers are are in their 20s. And that's fantastic. The market might be competitive, but there are many first-time home buyer and down payment assistance programs that are really there helping people get into a great first home. And that's happening right now. That has really come to the forefront. In fact, in Tennessee, we have the THDA, Tennessee Housing Development Authority. And in Georgia, we have the Georgia Dream Program. These are just a couple of first-time buyer down payment assistance programs that are made specifically by the states to help with first time home buyers. So reach out to me to learn more about opportunities for these first time home buyers. You can call me, you can text me, and you can reach me on social media. Just look up Blake Watson and Chattanooga or Blake Watson Realtor. You're going to find me. Now let's shift gears and talk about where these buyers are located on a regional basis. The South dominates the buyer pool. You probably heard this, but listen to this. 43% of all buyers live in the South currently, which also has the most home construction and the most inventory. So no wonder Chattanooga and the surrounding areas are seeing a lot of activity. It's a prime spot for buyers right now. The Midwest and the West follow with 23% and 21% respectively while the Northeast has the smallest share at 13%. As you get that, Midwest and West, 23 and 21%, whereas the South has 43%, almost double either one of those, double certainly the West and almost double the Midwest, and way more than the Northeast. So what does this regional data tell us? Well, if you're selling in the South, especially places like Tennessee and Georgia, it's a great time to be selling your home. Inventory is higher than it's been in several years, but so is demand, which means competitive prices and more buyers looking to get into a home. Plus, you know Chattanooga is a growing hub for remote workers, thanks to us being the gig city. And families, too. I hear it all the time from prospective buyers. They'll tell me this is a great place to raise kids. And that brings me to our next segment, 
because we'll see that sometimes kids can have paws. Here's a fun fact for you. When it comes to household composition, pets are more common than children. That's right. 76% of buyer households report having at least one pet, with dogs being the most popular at 64%, and only 43% of buyer households have children. So three-quarters of them have pets, and less than half have children. So when you're thinking about how to make your home more appealing to buyers, well, maybe you want to prioritize that fenced-in yard or that pet-friendly space that you have available. Make sure to highlight these pet-friendly features in your listing if you're selling your house. Now let's talk money, specifically how buyers are coming up with down payments. According to the report, a whopping 75% of mortgage buyers are saving up their down payment over time, which is the highest share in years. This is really good that we're saving our money for down payments. The second most common source, well, selling a previous home. That makes sense, of course. 43% of buyers are using funds from selling a previous home. And what about gifts or loans from family? Well, about 30% of buyers are tapping into that option too. Not always a gift, sometimes it's a loan, but either way, about 30% of buyers are utilizing funds coming from their family. For first-time buyers, saving for a down payment can certainly be difficult, but it's encouraging to see so many doing it. And I've seen it a lot this year. First-time home buyers coming in with thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of dollars that they've saved over several years. That's a great thing if you're on track to save up a nice size down payment if you're a first-time home buyer. And again, there are those programs provided through Tennessee at THDA and Georgia with Georgia Dream Program. And there are other programs as well, including some local programs that are not even run by the state, but local communities that are helping with first-time home buyer down payment assistance. Okay, what do buyers want in a home? What are they looking for? According to the report, air conditioning tops the list. <laughs> After this summer, I certainly understand that. 83% of buyers call it a very or extremely important feature. I can't remember the last house I sold that didn't have air conditioning. So, yes, it's it certainly is top of the list of things that we need here in the Chattanooga area because obviously summers can be brutal. We've had a lot of hot days. And following that, though, what do people want in a home? Well, staying within budget is a top priority for 79% of buyers. And other must-haves include having the right number of bedrooms and outdoor space, things like that. We look down the list, energy efficiencies, ample storage. But get this, about 68% of buyers are looking with homes with the potential to increase in value. Now, that's not difficult to find in the Chattanooga area because our region and our area is doing so well economically that we are having increases in property values. That may be more of a challenge in other parts of the United States, but it's a little easier to find here in Chattanooga. And of course, having a professional realtor like myself to help you to make sure that your property is in a location and it's the type of property that's going to appreciate in value, that is something you want some professional guidance to help you make sure of it. Now, what I've got to point out is what is at the bottom of the list of what buyers are looking for in a home. Well, right at the bottom of what they're looking for is a home with a hot tub or pool. With only 29% of people saying that's what they're looking for is a home with a hot tub or pool. That's still almost a third, obviously, but it's not a ton of people. What I have found in my experience is that a hot tub or a pool is a nice addition it's something that a buyer will look at and say, hey, that's great. That's a nice feature of this home. And they might choose to buy it because of that if all other things are equal. Say it's a three-bedroom, two-bath home, and it's very comparable to another home that they've looked at, and one of them has the hot tub or one of them has the pool. Well, they may choose that one because of that amenity, but they probably didn't start their search looking for a hot tub or a pool. That's what this research is kind of telling us. And that kind of fits with my experience with buyers as well. Let's talk about neighborhood preferences. 
Now, walkability is a big deal for buyers. 62% are saying it's very important to them, whether it's being able to walk to shops, to parks, or schools, a walkable neighborhood adds a lot of value. And this has been changing a lot over the years. If you think back several decades ago, it was more important to be out in the suburbs and have your cars in the garage and, and be able to drive to the mall or drive wherever you wanted to go. Now it's becoming much more important. This return to walkability is becoming much more important. And we see that here in Chattanooga. It's why there's such an appeal to living downtown as well. All this fun stuff is downtown and the walkability of living downtown is really creating a lot of value to folks who are buying in the downtown area. Buyers are also looking for a sense of community. 55% mentioned this as a key factor in choosing where to live. And that's why neighborhoods with strong HOAs or community centers, regular events, a clubhouse, whatever it may be, that can really appeal to today's buyers. They're looking for that sense of community. Of course, again, if we look at downtown Chattanooga or at Southside or North Shore, that neighborhood really has that community appeal that someone may be looking for. And evidently from this report, quite a few are looking at that community factor in choosing where to live. And here in Chattanooga, we're seeing more developments designed with that walkable, community-focused lifestyle in mind, which is great for future property values. Now, last but not least, of course, let's touch on climate risks. The Zillow report did ask buyers this question, and it's interesting because about 73% of buyers said that climate risks like floods, wildfires, and extreme temperatures influenced where they shop for a home. Specifically, 43% of buyers avoided homes in flood-prone areas. Okay, I get that. Coastal areas are certainly concerned for that. This is a national survey, right? But in Chattanooga, that same concern is very important. We have a number of flood zones throughout the region. Thankfully, we are blessed with plenty of water in this area, so we don't have to worry about having enough water to drink or wash our car or take a shower, those sorts of things. We are in good shape there, but we do have some flood zones. So that does impact a buying decision as to where you're going to be when you buy a house. We also have a lot of hilly terrain. In fact, most of our residential areas throughout Chattanooga and this region are not in flood zones, of course, but there are some. And we have to tip our hat to TVA for helping protect our entire city from flooding. If you know the history of Chattanooga and the TVA dam system and even the Chickamauga dam, well, you know that we are well protected in the Chattanooga area from flooding that used to be commonplace in the downtown portion of our city. It's clear that buyers are becoming more conscious of climate-related factors, and this is something that will likely shape the future of real estate in areas prone to natural disaster. We know that insurance costs and just the fear of losing your home are becoming much more real in Florida, California, and I know throughout coastal areas. So that's some new research for 2024, and I, I hope you found these insights as interesting as I did. And whether you're thinking about buying or selling, this kind of data can really help guide your decisions. As always, if you have any questions or need personalized advice, feel free to reach out to me. I'm ready to help, and I am a trained professional to be able to help you to use this data for your benefit. I'm Blake Watson, agent with Epic Realty. My mobile phone is 423-315-1815, and my brokerage office phone is 888-893-3537. Find me on Facebook and LinkedIn as Blake Watson, and on Instagram as Rock and Roll Blake. My website is athomechattanooga.com. And if this podcast has been helpful to you, well, please share it with a friend and please follow this podcast so you won't miss any episodes. And until next time, I wish you all the best in your real estate journey.